uh, from Duck Feet. I work here in customer service and this is my mom, Patty. She's also a teacher and we would love to highlight a teacher for National Teachers Day. So she's here to answer some questions with us today. Yes. Hi. So will you let us know a little bit about what you do and how you got into teaching? Yes. So I, um, I believe I got into teaching because um, I come from a pretty big family and at a young age I was a, sort of a caregiver caregiver and so that got me um, wanting to be with kids and um, what I do right now is I'm, I have a title one tutor position so I work with uh, kindergarten first and second grades in small groups but I've always worked in education uh, from an early age starting when in high school and I've worked with all ages and continue to uh, be inspired by my job truly. What's the most rewarding part about being a teacher? Um, I think it's those what they call the light bulb moments when you've been teaching um, maybe a skill and all of a sudden they get the skill. It is so important when they understand what you've been trying to get across. But also I think another part of it is all the, the I feel a lot of love from kids. I get a lot of hugs, um, really feel very, very welcomed uh, by the children. That's awesome. So you actually have a couple pairs of duck feet yourself, and I, I just wanted to talk about that. And um, <clears throat> duck feet are known for being so comfortable. So how does that kind of comfort come into your teaching life, knowing hmm. that you might be running after kids or being on your feet all day? So if you could talk a little bit about how sure. about that. Yeah. Well, um, I just recently received the boots, um, and those are very very comfortable. I don't know the name of them, but the Arhus. Yeah. Um, but really like them and I makes well first of all they make me look kind of cool so right there you know it, it's, it's, it's great but as far as like being with the kids I, I do up and down stairs quite a bit I move around a lot I, I go to a lot of different classrooms and I think knowing that my feet are comfortable is uh, real important I don't have to sit uh, to rest my feet so I know <coughs> you love your fun earrings just my fun shirts. Fun shirts, everything like that. Um, how do you bring your personal style into the classroom? And, you know, your, how do duck feet kind of a part of that for you? Yeah, well, I think it goes back to what we just said. If I'm dressing into maybe a skirt on the summertime, I might have a, skirt, a dress, a skirt. And when I have these nice sandals, it, uh, it brightens up the, the outfit maybe, or it makes me feel um, more in style as well. So. Uh, as far as the earrings go or some of my clothing, I, I mostly wear the earrings for the kids because every day I have a different pair on and the kids com compliment or comment on the earrings. So it, it, uh, it seems like it makes the whole outfit with the, the boots or the sandals. Yeah, accessories are important. Oh, and very important. That, so yes, they, do, really they do notice it. That's yeah. great. Yeah. And I also was wondering how you encourage your students to be their most authentic selves. Hmm. Well, as my friend would say, being myself um, makes, makes that. Um, if they know I, um, that I am fine with who I am, with mistakes I might make, mm -hmm. um, they, it gives them room and space to do the same thing. And I think that in itself lets a child know, oh, this is a safe, this is a safe space. That person is as real as I might be. That makes sense.